welcome to today's video today i'm sharing with you some of my current favorite fragrances and the layering combinations i believe in that statement that says a lady never reveals her secrets but today i will be revealing some of my secrets so i hope you enjoy the video and yeah let's get started at the top of my list i think this has been my favorite combination the first one is Narciso Rodriguez Pudre, powdery floral um, goodness, almost grown up baby powdery smelling. I also mix this with Delina Exclusive, which is in this group of fragrances that I am currently loving using on a regular basis. The group of perfumes I'm mentioning today are very small, there's not a lot. I think the fact that I'm keep rotating between these few fragrances just tells you that I've been loving them so I wear this whatever the occasion it's slightly cool it's winter out here but it's kind of weird some days are gloomy and cloudy but some days it's just sunny but cold and there's always this breeze this has been really, really great. I feel like this goes in the same family as my This Is Her by Zadig and Voltaire. And you guys know I love that, but I just feel like sometimes I need to give it a break. I don't know whether that's my favorite or this is my favorite. I'm loving both of them. This Is Her and Narciso Pudre. Now, Narciso Pudre is the one I'm wearing in place of This Is Her, but I love it just as equal. You know what I mean? Is that making sense? But anyway. I've been layering this with Delina exclusive and like I mentioned and I get so many compliments. You guys know Delina exclusive is like a floral sweet scent and bright. So coupled up with my Narciso Pudre, that mask is accentuated and I just smell sexy and mysterious and pretty at the same time. Very girly, very woman like. So yeah, I love it. I love it. I love that. Next scent that I've been really enjoying. Surprise, surprise. This has been a great signature scent. I've been getting a lot of compliments for this and there's some people that are really close to me and they'll say you smell really good and then there's other people like that compliment me way after I've left that area. They're like, you left a trail. Like you left a trail and it's been a great compliment getter, a great everyday scent, enjoying it. So it does have longevity. I don't smell it on myself as often. Like sometimes I will catch a whiff of myself, but other people smell it on me long after. Like it stays on clothes very well. Obviously once you wash your clothing, it goes away. But in the meantime, if you spray this and leave your clothes tomorrow, you'll probably smell it again yeah it's not like strong and overpowering or anything like that like I said it's very airy and you can only just smell it like it just catches you off guard and yeah it's been great as you can see I'm getting through the bottle so it's like I'm drinking it this is royal amber I've never looked at royal amber's notes so bergamot and green notes middle notes amber melon pineapple and sweet notes base notes woody notes mask and vanilla that makes so much sense when i wear this i get the pineapple and the melon and it dries down woody but the pineapple is still there and the vanilla is in the dry down as well the main things i'm smelling are slight woody notes the pineapple the melon and the vanilla so this is beautiful i have been wearing it as an all day all all seasons type of thing i think this actually this is an all year round scent it's a feminine scent it's not for men i don't think i don't think it works as a unisex scent this is very feminine and elegant and clean so i've really been liking this i love pineapple scents like it's not strong on pineapple but i'm saying that it has pineapple in it and it just you can tell there's a little bit of pineapple and the melon is definitely there and the vanilla oh so good creamy but at the same time fresh because of the bergamot flower it's been working out great for me and i've been enjoying it i have been wearing it and i do get compliments for this as well you know what i am not complaining 
worth it. So from my cheapies, I have been wearing Seductive Red. The Noir from Guess is good too, but the one that I've been reaching out the most for is this Seductive Red. So I'm very generous with the sprays when I wear this. This kind of reminds me of my Learn Teddy Rouge scent and <laughs> I feel like there's ember in there and it's floral and it's warm but it's clean and it's sexy at the same time so some of you own this so let me know how you've been enjoying it um have you been wearing it as an everyday scent if you've been wearing it for special occasions you're yet to wear yours or you've never heard of it if you haven't watch my unboxing of the fragrances affordable fragrances if i remember i'll link that in the description if not just check out the playlist it's there if you do not own these scents i don't know what you're doing i really don't know <laughs> because i have said this that you should try these because they are good okay i've been wearing them i have sometimes worn them together but that's just me being too extra and naughty for no good reason i could just wear one at a time but I have to be extra generous with my sprays, spray on my skin and my clothes, just to be sure that it's there. These are really great. I've been loving them. They work great together. They work great separately as well. The next scent I'm gonna talk about is Flora Mask by Narciso Rodriguez. Now, you know I love Narciso Rodriguez and I mentioned the Poudre, but this one is a brighter rose mixing Delena Exclusive and Narciso Poudre. It's kind of the same effect when I just wear floor mask. The, the reaction I get is kind of similar. It's pretty, it's feminine, it's woman-like, it's kind of attention grabbing and you kind of, you know, you kind of have to ask like, who's wearing that perfume? You just have to ask. But I have to say, I really wish I owned the lighter bottle. I'll put the picture up here. It reminds me so much of the Poudre but less of the white florals if that makes any sense i have to own that one i think that was my first love along with the one in the black bottle in the previous videos i did talk about mask noir rose can i just get a whole box of narciso rodriguez perfumes like can i just get all of them like can i just get all of them i just need them in my life because i just really like them this has been a scent i've been enjoying on bright days when i just want to smell rosy and sharp instead of this sometimes i've actually reached out for fabulous rose this is a new acquisition i got this from maxaroma.com and i did make a video unboxing this if you have not seen it it's there it's on my channel and nino amadeo did well with this fabulous rose i underestimated it when i unboxed it but it's been a beautiful rose actually this one is more lemony fresh citrus sharp bold and this one is much more maskier but bright as well so that's the main difference this one has no lemon in it but loving both so i feel like it's always really great and fun for me to share my current favorites because some of you may not know what i'm currently enjoying and what i'm into why did i select them out of my whole collection why are they my current addiction i thought that this would be great to share with you because i enjoy those current favorite videos with like random things but because this is a perfume channel now we're doing perfumes but so did you guys know about my other channel where I'll be doing more chilled topics, other topics, unboxings of random things. And if you know me, you know that I get packages almost every day, almost every day, because I don't want to sell myself out like that. <laughs> so on my other channel, I get a chance to unbox all the other things I buy, shoes, clothes. I even have try on homes that are coming up there. So I'm super excited and this one will be more of like a perfume channel because I feel like I talk a lot about perfumes and it just deserves its own channel. I will link my other channel in the description. It's called More Viva Glaze, like more of me, like who would want that? And I'm planning on having guests on that channel, you guys. You can get to know some of the people around me and they can give you the truth, the tea about Viva Glaze you know that you may or may not know now what are your current favorites share with me in the comment section and i'll see you in the next video bye